Hello beautiful. Today I wanted to do this quick video and talk to you about one of the many questions I get about clients, high ticket coaching clients. This question is, meaning where do you find high ticket coaching clients? How do I attract high ticket coaching clients? Where are all these $50,000 high ticket coaching clients, $100,000 high ticket coaching clients and $25,000 high ticket clients or even $10,000 high ticket coaching clients you're always talking about? Where do I find them? How do I attract them into my business? I know, I hear you. There is no one way, no magic pill, no blueprint, no one strategy, no one system or whatever to attract or create your high ticket coaching clients, no matter the amount, okay? But first, I'm gonna to get to that, but first, if this is your first time here, my name is Mimi Davo and I'm a high ticket business coach. I work with spiritual female coaches who want to quickly add multiple six figures and seven figures to their business without losing their sanity, their health, quality time with God or their family. Welcome. It's good to have you here. So let me get to this. It's not about marketing. It's not about um, branding. It's not about sales. It's none of that. It's not even a strategy. Mm -mm. It's not a strategy. It could be. It's something so simple that when I tell you, you're probably going to roll your eyes and think, duh, I know that, but have you done it? Have you done it? Yeah. So you want to sell high ticket coaching packages. How do you attract the clients? I'm going to say something. You can never get what you don't give. You can't, you can't get what you don't give and you never get what you don't ask for. If you don't ask for it, you don't get it. And if you don't give it, you don't get it. I know. Sounds complicated, but it's really easy. So to attract $100,000 coaching clients or to attract a client who wants to invest $50,000 in coaching, what's the one thing? How do you do it? You need to have a $100,000 coaching package to attract a $100,000 coaching client. To attract a $10,000 coaching client, you need to create a $10,000 signature coaching offer. Simple. Because you can't get what you don't ask for. When you create the $100,000 package, you offer it, that's asking, you get the client. When you create the $10,000 package, Asking price investment to work with you, $10,000. Attract people who want to invest $10,000 and get exponential results. So that's the only way you have to do it. It's that simple. You first have to create the package before you can attract anyone that wants it. So how do you create the package? So know that you're going to have to subscribe to this channel and come back because everything I talk about is creating high ticket packages, selling high ticket packages, creating clients for the high ticket packages, making your coaching life easier, everything high ticket business, you wanna be here. But let's get to some real stuff. I've already said the one thing you have to do is actually create a package. You know, just decide. The first step is making a decision. Decide that I'm gonna be a high ticket coach, whether it's a relationship coach, a business coach, a life coach, or marketing coach, whatever coach you are, decide to go high ticket, decide to start creating value in the marketplace that's over $10,000, $15,000, $25,000, $50,000, $100,000. $100, decide that you're going to put that exponential value out in the marketplace. And that's the only way you're going to attract people who actually want that. Because if you're still selling $5,000 packages or $1,500 packages, that's who you're attracting. So if you're thinking, gosh, I want to create this $100,000 package and you're still thinking, $5,000, that mindset doesn't, it doesn't equip you to attract the clients that you want to work with. So the first thing is decide to be high ticket, make a decision, draw a line in the sand. I'm high ticket. This is what I'm doing. The second thing is to let go of the wishy washy language. Yeah. So if you're still positioning yourself in your messaging, in your marketing to talk to your $5,000 client, you're not going to attract a $50,000 client. You're not going to attract a $100,000 client because you're still doing that thing. What then? The thing where you're still talking to the person that you think you're qualified to serve because you've already done it and you have results and you have history. So you keep talking to them while hoping, praying 
throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping the $100,000 client comes. But it's a different language. They don't speak the same language. So you need to practice, squeeze the juice from between the mindset brain. Squeeze the juice out and start to practice speaking to the client that you really want to work with. Because she's at a different place than the client that you're talking to. So bring up your positioning to match where you want to be. Let your client see you where you want to be, not where you are right now. Just like your client wants to create exponential results, not where she or he is, not where they are, but where they want to be. It's aspirational. So no wishy-washy language. Make a decision, no wishy-washy language. And the third thing is to step out of the unworthiness paradigm. The one that says, can it really be that easy? Like, but I thought it had to be hard. Oh, you're gonna do the work. You need to have strategy and systems and use your intuition and there's gonna be work involved. But you first have to make a decision. That's all, you don't need to know the strategy, you don't need to know the how before you decide to be a high ticket business coach or high ticket relationship coach or whatever coach you are. You just need to make a decision and create the offer. And that's the easy part. The difficult part is this third thing, stepping out of the unworthiness paradigm where it's like, oh, I feel like an imposter. I feel like I'm a fraud. I feel like this, I feel like that. Well, who doesn't? Just get over it. Okay, don't get over it. There's ways to like get over it. There's mindset work that's involved here. There's also remembering who you are because what I see in high ticket coaching clients really is this one thing. They've forgotten who they are. They've forgotten whose they are. And once they remember who they are and they start to remember what God says about them, what God says they can do, who God says they are, what God says they can have, then they start to become it. But until then, it's so hard. And that goes for me, for all of us, because we forget to remember. We don't remember who we are. So do the work to remember who you are so you can get to the point in your business where you 100% confident in your pricing, 100% confident in the value that you put out in the marketplace because you know your clients are gonna get success. Once they do the work, it's not your job to do the work for them. Once they do the work, they get the success. They create the exponential results they want. So own the value. Attracting a high ticket client is as simple as owning the value of the transformation that you provide and putting it out in the marketplace so people know you. They know you have it. And if they want it, they'll come and get it. That's how you attract your high ticket coaching clients. Okay? My name is Mimi Dabo. It's been really great having you. And here's the thing. Life is two choices. It's play and it's pause. There's no fast forward and there's no rewinding. So you can either hit subscribe and play the videos and watch and create your high ticket coaching business, profitable high ticket coaching business, or you can press pause and wait until you feel good enough or you're ready or all the things have to align or you know the how. Play or pause. Choose what works for you and what will get you where you want today. It's been good having you.